Two minute business tip number 12, dealing with seasonal patches in your business. Let's say for example, you've got four quiet-ish or quiet months in your business. Let's say you've got October, November, December and January. And every year they're a lot quieter than the rest of the year. So we need to handle that. And the best way to handle it is to take each month on its own. So if we're gonna look at October, for example, which is coming on the tail end of your busy season, the way to handle October being quiet is that when you're flat to the mat during the summer and people are ringing you looking to do this, that and everything all at the one time, offer them some kind of incentive to not get the job done until October. So if you're doing a bit of painting, you might throw in an extra room or whatever. You're doing a bit of floor and throw in an extra room. Makes no difference. I always try to make to recommend that people don't offer a discount, but offer a value add. So offer them something extra if they wait until October. And if somebody wants to get a job done in September and you're saying, well, can you go for it in October? They'll be probably be okay with it unless they got a very specific deadline. So that's the first one tackled with October. Now you've got a three month quiet period. So let's look at January, which is the start, which is traditionally after January, business starts to pick up for yourself. So you can start running a campaign in December, maybe beat the January blues, and you can offer some kind of value add to people who book you in December for January. If you're not gonna be busy and you're gonna be doing nothing or very little, it's probably better to be working at a reduced margin than it is to be doing nothing altogether. So, you know, with the four months there, October, November, October, November, December, and January, if you've got October handled, we've got November, December to handle, and now we've got January handled, well, now our quiet patch has came from four months down to two months. So we need to come up with something in November, and we need to come up with something in December. December is obviously an easy enough one, because you can say, you know, get this, the, the pre-Christmas deal, or, the, the pre-Christmas package, whatever it is. But look at each month in its, look at each month individually and figure out what you can do, run a campaign around that to tackle the quiet patch at that time.